no, no, no. Yeah. They will shoot you. They'll, they will, they will yeah. kneel on your neck. They'll stick their oh. fingers in your vagina on the side of the road for 11 minutes in the dark of night. What the fuck how, are you talking about? How Niles far one. are you Niles. allowed to go to protect yourself against a tyrannical force? All right, Niles has his finger up. Okay. Yeah. Um, you remember I, I talked about redheads? Red hair? Correct? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, do you all know... Uh, <laughs> do you all know Nicole Kidman? Yes. yes. Okay. I refer to... Not to her, but to my first wife. Wonderful, wonderful. Dark red haired girl with some nice oh <laughs> All right. I, I'm I'm using this, I'm not saying black people, Hispanic people, Muslim people, blah 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 blah. I'm what's the difference? I'm saying Okay, uh, hold on. Hold on. All right, so how do you not understand that what you're saying is the most dangerous thing you can ever say? What you're saying is literally snowflake behavior. You're saying that you should be able to choose whatever so long as it's not on a list that says that you're not allowed to choose it. So then you just get to find another reason. <clears throat> you can just make it up. I don't allow white shirts in here today. Oh, <clears throat> but those three people sure. over there have white shirts. Ah, uh, that's a slightly different color white. Nah, You're not, not allowed in here. That's not dangerous. It's totally fine. Attire, yeah. A lot no, of places have. Uh, that's not acceptable. You know, well, I sh I'm sorry. Then you don't know much about business because a lot of places have rules about proper attire. You know, into an establishment. Right. You know, you don't get to wear flip flops in a five star restaurant. They just don't allow that. Right. Sorry, you don't like it, Dith Band, but you know, egocentricity does not play well when right, it comes but to. We're not talking about a restaurant. We're talking about the homeless guy that doesn't have money for a mask and can't buy wow. groceries because he doesn't have a mask. Where what did that come guy? from? Yeah, that's out of the blue. That was nothing to do with. I must have missed that segment because you guys yep. are talking about the person with red hair, but we're actually talking about masks. And I'm talking about the person that can't afford a mask doesn't get to buy groceries because he doesn't have in a mask. In Niles, in Niles' example, the person with the red hair can always go to another restaurant. The person who doesn't have a white what shirt on can go to another restaurant. You know, well then that, well then maybe that's a comment on society if, if that happens. Then that's you know? just too bad for the people with red hair. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why I mentioned in the very beginning. I didn't like. So then, when the people born with red, with red hair, hair wait, listen, terrorist group that's, and start blowing shit up. I don't want to hear people's whining about it. Yeah, you don't want to piss the redheads off. I could see that happening. <laughs> um, see that, that he's laughing. He's like three seconds from getting kicked off the panel right now. Now, look, that's why yeah. I did. When Beck said they were born that way, you know, I, that's why I didn't like the red hair example. You know, I'd rather find something that people aren't born a certain way. Uh, forget it. Forget it. So that's like forget saying it. somebody who wears makeup isn't allowed in my store. Because, you know, you could leave residue of makeup around the store. You're not allowed sure. to. If you're wearing makeup, you're, we're yeah. going to swab your face before you come in. Make sure you don't have no, makeup. No, just not allowed you in. I didn't say we're going to do anything to you. What if you just say, I don't, I'm in. not wearing makeup? If you say, well, then you can come in. But I'm not wearing it, and you think I did. Well, we'll have to take, take a close look at you and see if you got makeup on. If you get within arm's reach, I'm breaking your neck. <laughs> There's ways. We got ways to tell. You know, we you can't centers. understand what you're saying. No, is we, no, it's phenomenal. If, no, it's not absurd. I'm saying that if you if you, if you had a store that you didn't want people to wear makeup, then that should that's fine. You're going to lose out on the people who wear makeup, which is about 50 percent of the business. It's a very bad move. I would advise not to do that. I once, I once got refused entry into Harrods for wearing jeans that were ripped. <laughs> Harrods is a very posh yeah, store Harrods. in London. And uh, so, how'd, you, how'd that make you feel? Slightly irritated. Yeah, annoyed, that's, a bit. that's the. <laughs> <clears throat> and then I, I, all I I'm hearing nice. is the same thing I heard when I was growing up, was which is if you don't want people to beat the fuck out of you for being gay, then stop being gay. That's but totally dope. No. You're talking about public say, interaction. Yeah. Wait, hold on, Tiff, man. You're talking about public interaction in and not trying to go into a, a store. And I, I, I think I mentioned I think that sexual preference was was a was definitely something I don't think people should discriminate against for that. 
and that's why we're mentioning those they don't, they're because there is his, there's a history of oppression in certain categories not having purple hair or makeup yeah like poor you know? people what do you oh i'm sorry but if i have a business and someone comes in without any money you tell me i have to let them in to eat or whatever what are you saying are you saying that people have to have a certain amount of money to get into your store enough to pay for what? whatever the yeah, yeah. <laughs> what if they don't know what they're buying yet? Not, not a whole lot you know just enough what if they don't you know? know what they're buying well uh, th what kind of store is it i'm just asking well if it's a restaurant you're gonna come in and shop i'm sorry but i don't, I don't work that way you're gonna sit down and eat go ahead now yeah okay i think one of the very big problems here is we are from different countries canada uh, United States, uh, United Kingdom, I think. Uh, in J. Diva, I don't know where you are from. New Jersey. And where is that? States. Okay, United States. We have different um, homeless Northern. homeless people in Denmark. They are treated very well. Um, I'm living in a camper in a caravan park, and I have. I'm great. I'm. I'm not homeless. I have my camper, my living, but the homeless people in Denmark, we we in Denmark are taking care of them as good as we can. Many of them are ex-military with PSTD, and, but we are doing what we can do. I don't know how you do it in Canada. I don't know how you do it in the United States. I know a little about uh, the UK, but that's the difference, and that's why we are arguing here, because we are doing things differently. No, all of you guys agree, and I disagree. Well, hang on. No, that's not true at all. I'm not sure that I agree with everything that Naven said. No, you don't have no. to. Yeah, you know. No, but I believe all four of you agree <clears throat> that the government has the right to mandate whether or not you wear a mask. Right, like just, to me, it's not about whether time. they have. It's not about whether they have the right, but whether they have the power. And they have that. And, and I don't that believe gives that them they the do. right. But and the fact like, that you guys would not fight against that is why I know <clears throat> that the trains are coming. Not one of you will do anything about it. You'll all no, just you tell me that I should. No, you don't. I no, you don't. Yeah. No, no, you I don't. Do. This is all just bullshit, Tenth Man. This is all your right. bullshit. That's my bullshit. It is your bullshit, yes. You don't know yeah. that at all. If what you is your think... model of knowledge? What is your model of knowledge, Tenth Man? That so long as they're not coming for you, you're going to turn a blind eye. Do you even know what I just asked you? Yes. What is your model of knowledge? Human history. Right, okay. I, I don't think you know what I'm asking you. That's fine. Um, that's fine. I just got back. On, I had to say, uh, I take it all back. Tin Man, you're right. I fucked up. Fuck off, Navin. No, I just, I'm serious. I got had to get up. I just walked outside and five military style helicopters just flew over my house. I'm not lying to you. I think, I think they're on to me. Yes, <laughs> Navin. <laughs> Why are you so irritated? How much violence are we allowed to use to stop them from violating our rights? Go ahead, Nils. I hate, I hate every bit, every, every, every bit of this. Okay, so he's grabbed the guy. What we are seeing here is...
what we see here, what we see here is not um, it's not how we do it in Denmark. It's not um, yet. No, see that's the thing. Yet <laughs> you're saying that's not how we do it in Denmark. Yet. No, no, I'm not saying yet because we have a democracy. Yeah, yeah, sure you do. Okay, this I'm glad you paused it right here. This is perfect. Okay, so the black guy took a swing at the officer, and now this guy here, yep. the, the cop, I say here, the the cop in the in the background with the blue mask on, he's now pulled out. I didn't, I didn't, I haven't seen this part. He put he pulled out his taser, right? He's going for his taser. Yep. Is that right? Okay. Did he tase him? Or just don't know. I think he did. I think he did. Shame on these police. Shame on these police. Look at what it started now. I love you guys. Move. Small business. Small business. Ah, pause it. I'm so pissed off right now. This cameraman really pissed me off because he had the story. Everybody's going to focus in on this guy. There'll be footage of this guy talking. He missed that. When he went back with that officer pulled out his taser, I want to know if he tased that guy. I think he did. Yeah. Fuck, this guy, this cameraman should have known. Shame on you. Shame Absolutely fine videography by Lincoln. Bullshit. Uh, we're riveting so many things there. The charging horses. You're charging horses at whom? Was there a riot? Was there some terrorists? Was there like a street gang? Uh, was there fisticuffs? Was there a gunfight? Was there a knife fight? You charged with the mounted police riot squad style. Why did you do that? Why did you have 100 police there? Is it true that an unelected, unaccountable health bureaucrat who knows there's nothing about policing, nothing about the law, all she knows about is what the World Health Organization tells her that week about the virus. Put that JPEG tweet back up, if you please. Some unelected, unaccountable health bureaucrat can seize control of the army, really. Like, there's no difference between seizing control of the police and seizing control of the army. Other than the army really can't go to war against its own people, but the police can. Police updating reporters now on Adamson's situation. I'm watching on CP24. Last night, Davila gave police powers under Health Protection and Promotion Act to seize the property, and they changed locks. Since when does a bureaucrat press gang the police into her personal service? And since when do police go along with that? And since when do police Not say a bureaucratic no, item. Four horses and 50 cars. Can you do me a favor? Can you call up the Health Protection and Promotion Act? Um, I should tell you that last night, I mean, it's a very complicated, uh, densely written, poorly written law that is full of legalese and no plain language, and it's been amended and updated and it touches on other laws. It's junk law designed to be incomprehensible. And do you think that... Um, I went through the whole thing. I don't even know if I'm going to bother doing a video about it because I'm just going to have to listen to people say, blah, 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 can't even fuck it. I went through three different sets of laws to where... The third set of laws, which is the public health mandate, specifically states that they can come into your home. They don't need a warrant. They don't need anything. It's a this is direct a... contradiction to Canadian federal law. It don't matter. They can do whatever yeah, the fuck crazy. they want. It says in the Canadian law, it says they can go into your home. In the Public Protection Act. Yep. It's, 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 it's insane. Right, right there. That's insane. Uh, they can go anywhere they want, anytime they want, and refusing them entry or refusing to provide your information to them if they ask your name, anything like that, even though it says in the in federal law that they can only ask you, just like in America, if you are actually detained or under arrest. I spoke to the Crown Attorney, the, the, the what you're talking about, the phone call you want to hear? Yeah, I want to hear that. And he said, quite simply, they can do whatever they want. And whose can fault you, is that? Can you play people it? like you, NJ Diver? Can you play the audio? Oh, that's yeah, funny. It's got my personal information. I gotta, I gotta blank it out. 
We'll it, it, that's that really part. funny that you say that, uh, uh, M, there, mainly because I've been involved to get legislation changed. I've been right. involved in getting uh, regulations changed. So don't yeah. try to tell me that I accept everything that's written. But how does that help after you've already been thrown into the back of a car? Because you'll be out of the car soon enough. Or dead. Yeah. Or dead. <laughs> oh, God. So dramatic. Well, yeah, I know. He he takes everything to an extreme, <laughs> expecting that that's going to be reality. If that was reality, we'd already be half our population dead by his <laughs> yeah. standards. Yeah, no. Yeah, of course, you know, that's as soon as they arrest you, they're going to they're going to kill you. I mean, that's what happens. Yeah. I mean, how how many uh, jails have mortuaries? The cops know this law. Yeah, Nils, I, you're not going to get it by raising a finger or I, hand. I, I, I saw that tweet and I said, really? So some public health... Go ahead, Nils. Thank you. <laughs> in, in 2017, there was fired 33 shots from policemen in Denmark. And 16 of these were warning shots. That's the different. That's the difference between our countries. I repeat: thirty-three shots fired. Sixteen of them was warning shots. Yeah, I got a question on that though. Do they know where the uh, projectiles went in these warning shots? Up in the air. Ah, and guess what? Really? Where do they come down? What goes up must come down. And thank <laughs> God no one got hit. Right, There's no such thing in the United guys. States as oh, a warning oh, shot. Oh. Yeah, we don't I'm, do warning shots. I'm a hunter. Yeah, fine. You fire around in the air. That projectile will reach terminal velocity and have to, or the terminal altitude and turn around and come back. That's the law of physics and gravity. Damn lucky that no one or nothing that's alive is underneath that. All right, so let's see this. Bureaucrats, uh, no one ever heard of six months ago. Way I, too long. Now, thanks very much. Hold and on, Nils. Can you do, you know how you do that command F to search for something or find it on the page? Can you search uh, the word police? I'm trying to remember the words I searched. Yeah. So uh, how many hits are there of the word police? Look at the top there. 11. 11. Okay, so detention facility uh, under the Police Services Act. That's if someone needs to be quarantined. Um, can you pump up the, the, the size just one notch for my old man eyes? Um, hey, hit control F and do home. Search let's home. See this, let's see this. An order under this section <laughs> may be directed to any police force in Ontario, and the police force shall do all things reasonably able to be done to locate, apprehend, and deliver the person in accordance with the order. Now, scroll up just a tiny bit, because what section are they talking about? Look at this. So, okay, right there. So, police assistance, you see that? Um, deliver. Okay, scroll up a little bit, a little bit. So, five, six, five, four, three, two, and then there it is. Upon application by a medical officer of health, a judge of the Ontario Court of Justice, in the circumstances specified, may make an order specified. Okay, so to first, so we're in section 35, and stay with me, I try not to bore you, I want to learn along with you. Twice now we read the report from the Toronto Star that Davila, the public health officer, commanded the police to raid this restaurant. We are in the law referred to, and then we're going through for the word police, and we're looking at a section called order by, do you see that right above number 35? It says order by, does it say order by the officer of health? No, it does not. It says order by Ontario Court of Justice. So read now. Let me explain the words here. You may not know it. I'm a former lawyer myself. I haven't practiced in many years, but I know the law enough to know what this means. It means upon application by a medical officer of health, a judge of the Ontario Court of Justice, in the circumstances listed below, may make an order. So the medical officer of health, Miss Davila, she goes to the judge. She applies to the judge, and the judge makes an order. Do you see what I'm saying there? This does not say a bureaucrat may command 100 cops. This says a bureaucrat may go to a court and ask the court for an order. 
only in the circumstances specified. And now what are we even talking about? And this is going to surprise you. It's just to pick up a guy who's like spreading cholera. Let's read it together. When court may make order, okay? An order may be made under subsection 3, we'll get there in a second, where a person has failed to comply with an order by a medical officer of health in respect of a communicable disease that is a virulent, virulent disease, A, that the person isolate himself or herself and remain in isolation, B, that the person submit to an examination by a physician, C, that the person place himself or herself under the care of a doctor, D, that the person conduct himself or herself in a manner so as not to expose another person. So stop right there. This court may order the cops to do what? The public health officer goes to the judge. The judge can do what? We just read it. Pick up a guy that's spreading a disease around town. You got a guy with the bubonic plague. You got a guy with cholera. Hell, you got a guy with COVID running around coughing on everybody. The medical officer of health can have that person rounded up by calling up the police chief. No, by going to the court. I just read it with you. So if Davila is upset with someone because they're coughing on anybody, she goes to the court. She asks for an order. If the judge agrees, the cops can do those four things I just can, can intervene and do the four things I just listed. Let's read the next one, contents of order. In an order under this section, the judge may order that the person who has failed to comply be taken into custody, be examined by a physician, and be treated. Okay, none of that applies to, to Adam Skelly here at all. He's not sick. Capability of the hospital, delivery to the hospital, police assistance. An order under this section may be directed to any police force in Ontario. The police force shall do all things reasonably able to be done, apprehend and deliver the person. So this is about Someone who's walking around coughing on everyone. Care and treatment. Okay, so keep looking. So I've just shown you that all these reference of police are if you've got a guy, a typhoid Mary, who won't stop coughing on everybody, the public health officer cannot say, hey, police chief, send in 100 cops. No, no, no. She's got to hire a lawyer, go to a judge, convince a judge to make the order. The, the judge gives the order. The order goes to the cops. The cops pick up the coffer. None of that applies. Can you go back to that law? and keep searching the word police, because I'm trying to prove, if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm trying to prove to you that this law, at least in my, and I'm not going to call myself quite a layman, although I have not practiced law, keep searching for the word police. Detention facility. So we've gone through it. How many instances are there? 11? That was the first six. Number seven. Keep going. Next one. Uh, the justice of the peace. Uh, okay. Scroll up. This may, this may help us here. Maybe there's an answer here. All right. Do you see... 43. You see near the top, it says warrant by justice of the peace. You know what a warrant is. It's, it's a fairly common word. It's like a search warrant or another kind of order. It's another way of saying an order. So let's read this together. We're learning together, okay? 43.1. Where a justice of the peace is satisfied on evidence upon oath. So you go to a judge and you swear a statement. So you don't just call up the judge and say, give me. There's a little hearing. You swear evidence. A that there is a reasonable and probable ground for believing that it is necessary, one, to enter and access to through any premises, B, or two, to make examinations, investigations, tests, inquiries, and three, to make, take, and remove samples, copies, or extracts related to an examination, investigation, test, or inquiry, or to do any of the such things for the purpose of the act, the enforcement of any section of this act by the, or the regulations, the exercise of a power or the carrying out of a duty under this act, or the regulations or the carrying out of a direction given under this act, and B, that an inspector appointed by the minister, a medical officer of health, a public health inspector, or a person acting under the direction given by a medical order of health, one, has been denied entry to the premises, two, has been instructed to leave the premises, three, has been obstructed, or four, has been refused production of anything or any plant or animal related to an examination, investigation, test, or inquiry by the occupier of the premises. Okay, slow down for a second here. I read all that in a hurry. So just scroll up a tiny bit more. So what do we just read? A judge who has sworn evidence that there's reasonable grounds to believe that it's necessary to get into a place or uh, do anything in the place. So it's necessary to get in and that an inspector has been denied entry, instructed to leave, kicked out, obstructed, on, by the occupier only then, let's read now from the bottom, the justice of the peace may issue a warrant in the form prescribed by the regulations authorizing an inspector appointed by the minister, medical officer, health, or public health inspector, any person or any of them to act as mentioned by force if necessary, together with such police officer or officers as they call upon to assist them. So let me let me put this in plain language. If there's some place that the health inspector can't get into, 
if they're denied entry, if they're kicked out, if they're blocked, and there was a reason to get in, you can swear evidence under oath, go to a judge, and the judge may, if he is persuaded by you, may issue a warrant. And then the cops can go in. Now, let's just do a few obvious things here. The cops were not denied entry, were they? The cops were in the whole time. Number two, there's a hearing. You go to the judge. You present sworn evidence. I don't believe that happened. Shall we continue? Go back to the well, law. I'm doing a lot of law. But, but I have a theory. I'm testing. Yes, NJ Diver. I understand what you're saying, but they went over the checks and balances and circumvented them. And that's how they can throw us onto trains. They misinterpreted the law. They skipped ahead to the section that says the police can be used if denied entry, blah, blah, blah. They just say the police can be used. They have the same syndrome a lot of people do. They read the part that's, that supports what they say and what they're doing, and that's it. And you know very well that so long as the police believe that they're acting within the law, they're absolved of responsibility. So then what, my taxes get to go up when this guy wins a $10 million lawsuit? That's how this works? And you've never heard of exigent circumstances? Irrelevant. Oh, yeah, there you go. Everything's irrelevant. Irrelevant. When people, when, when the Nazis come to throw <laughs> you in the train, the circumstances don't matter. And you know what's funny? None of this would have come to light if it wasn't for the pandemic. These laws have been on the books for decades. And nobody knew about it because nobody was no, concerned. They did know about it, NJ. We all knew about it. didn't but have something figured out as to what's going to happen when a pandemic hits. It's, oh, people are going to get sick. People are going to die. The way we can control it is to limit the exposure. And how do you limit the exposure? By letting Walmart stay open, but this guy's barbecue closed down? Well, let's see. Does Walmart sell food? Yes. Is not food essential for living? Is barbecue? Not necessarily. Okay. Is him having an income and not losing his business necessary? Not to fighting the pandemic, obviously. Oh, so it only matters what you think is relevant. No, it only matters what is for the public safety. Oh, and unfortunately, oh, you and, and, and all the individuals can go fuck million themselves. other people in both these countries, and by the way, all over the world, so it's several billion, just didn't bother to see that these laws are already in existence. But they're that being the abused. authority to do these things already existed. No, they and don't. Only until, oh, wait a minute, it's intruding on your personal no, life. They don't. They don't That's have when the people power yell to do and scream. Wrong. And yet the funny part about it is when everybody started they're opening lying. up earlier this summer, what happened in the last two months? We Not had a resurgence. No, we didn't. In areas that were fine. No, and we the reason that happened is because people weren't paying attention to what they were doing. NJ Diver, what you're saying is wrong. Just oh, like he yeah, in your mind. Because you don't know anything. They're just like he just Aww. explained. These powers were put into effect so that they could stop people that were actually spreading a virus, not lock everybody down in case they might spread a virus. Just like you said, you have to go to a judge and get an order to do what these people are doing you do not get to unilaterally choose that's not what that choose. law says yes it is no it's it's between your ears that law says that you have to identify a situation you have no, to person. have reason you have to have probable no, cause you have to under oath present it to a magistrate judge or whatever you call your uh, black or red robe people up there in Canada. Which and they then did none that of. legal decision is made. Which they did none of. And again, all they did, all they did was order a hundred police to go and raid this guy and do things that were contrary to law. Well, then I guess it'll all come out when he goes to court, won't it? 
That's not what we're discussing, NJ. This is the same argument we had before. Yeah, because you think that every time something occurs, there's going to be not only physical violence, but death. And unfortunately, so you don't think in that the was real violence? world, that happens very, very seldomly compared Bullshit. to the millions of arrests and detentions that occur in both our countries on a daily basis. Bullshit. Oh, really? Really. Every detention and every arrest is going to result in the item in the individual's death. That's your philosophy. Unless, unless they kowtow and do exactly what they're told, correct? Even if it's an illegal arrest, that's right. And even though both of our countries give us the power to resist an illegal arrest, we will still never get away with it. And you know it. Yeah, and the funny part about that is... How many of those resisting arrests on an illegal arrest have you seen come out in court? Does that matter? Well, you're saying that every time someone feels that they're being illegally arrested, they have the right to resist up yep. to and including using legal, lethal force to defend themselves, yep. are you not? Yep. Well, how's this? I just heard yesterday from a police officer online granted so i'm not really sure he was he has the reputation that he is Very is balls. that they're trained to do one step up right if you start pulling away from them they're trained to grab you and restrain you if right. you even start if, throwing you punches, anything, right? they're gonna tase you if you start with a weapon or you come at them with lethal force yeah Guess what? And do you understand that a large majority of the population of North America now believes that a cop even showing up is automatically a threat to their life? Well, there's quite a few more snowflakes in this continent than I was really aware of. Like you. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell yeah. I'm not going to, I'm not stupid enough to resist an officer if he's going to detain me or arrest me i'll wait until i get in court with a good lawyer and then maybe i'll be able to have my case heard Certainly i'm not going to try my case in, excuse me i'm not yeah. going to try my Very case terrorist. in front of someone that has the authority and the accoutrement to kill me you're a bootlicker dude no, that's called avoiding suicide by cop. No, nope, you're a bootlicker. As long as they're not Aww. coming for you or your own, then you're good, right? <laughs> I love labels. It's the truth. Listen Just to the like words. Just like the label I have on my logo, Link Floyd. Yeah, I yeah. post links to back up what I'm saying. Right. Unfortunately, people don't like going to links because, oh, they're a snowflake and they're afraid to make it a virus. Oh, my God. Right. <laughs> the fallacy of your philosophy of box cars and fiery pits is let's see 1940s to now uh generally 80 years old right and what did the khmer rouge do to their people I'm not even sure who that is. What are you referencing? You don't know who the Khmer Rouge were. No, I'm not a genius like you, dude. I only know you reality. Never heard of I, I, I didn't read your fucking indoctrination bullshit books. Go you ahead. Never explain heard of Cambodia. How about Bosnia? That's yep. Pol Pot. As the yeah. ethnic cleansing, they called it. Yep, Pol Pot. Yeah. How, yeah, Pol Pot. Thank you. That's Khmer Rouge. Um, how about uh, Somalia? How about the other countries in Africa? Yep. Where it's tribal. It's not yep. really even ethnic. What does that have to do with what we're talking about? Please explain. Well, you're talking about Nazis. That's just another tribe or sect. Right? Okay. You're talking about them somehow being able to force the government to have concentration camps again. Nope. Nope. Because the rich and elite are the new Nazis. How do you not get that?
the one percenters are always going to be there. They have been since the beginning of the human race understanding wealth and power. I guess he's talking about Bill Gates, not about yeah. just the average rich guy. Well, how's this? I'm considered rich by quite a few million people in this country. Right. I Nazi. spent over 40 years building my bank account so Nazi. that I could have a good life when I stop working. Right. And no, so and and you, you, did that to, you did that to kill people. No, but because you got yeah, there exactly, first. Nathan. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Because you got Not there him, first. Sorry. Because you got there first, right? Now you no. get to live in the lap of luxury. And no. then when you die, all the debt that you accumulated over the over, or like you're, you're part of a national debt. Now it gets transferred on to the other people, and that's okay, right? No, no. The national debt is brought up because we have politicians and administrations who overspend. Yep. And have you done anything to stop that? Yeah, I voted the opposite. for somebody else. You He's voted the opposite. for somebody else. That's what you did. If you work, if he works hard to be a a productive and successful individual. He's done nothing towards that national debt. He's done quite the opposite. Of course he has. No, he has not. Yes, he's well, profited yeah, while yeah, other people did my, not. I NJ, is, NJ is a net asset. I paid the he's other a net asset, not a net liability. To live here. They're, he's, he's a net asset to this, to this country, not a net liability. So because he got there first. He no, the I didn't get there first, death man. Yeah, I had... Did. I had 11 other people in my gang at work doing the same damn thing of multiple races, of multiple ethnicity. So don't tell me that I got there first. You've already lost their argument. I Virtue didn't even have an argument. Snowflake. I'm just telling you facts. Virtue signaling. Do what? Your virtue signaling. May I? Go ahead, Nils. Yeah, um, in United States of America, and I think also Canada, you have the right to pursue nope. your happiness. Is Just that in correct? the United States, sir. That's, yeah, it's actually, not, it's not true that's actually in the United States either. It's a bunch of other service bullshit. That's in our Declaration of Independence. Exactly. It's nah. in the Declaration of Independence, not the Constitution. Which, by the way, is a legal document because yep. even though we hadn't formed the United States quite, yeah, we sort of had. We had the, uh, what did they call those papers? Federalists? No, no, before that. Uh, when Carter? they formed the Continental Congress, they, they had a bunch of. Uh, discussions and they came up with a few things that they had goals and other things while they were writing their letters to parliament and the king and then, uh uh papers of confederation or something like that but uh you you have uh you have a reason to uh, you know you can um attempt happiness you can attempt richness Is in a democratic right? society yes in a republican society yes okay and even yeah. in a totalitarian the totalitarian society yeah capitalism but a, exists but not communist and socialist now they do it by corruption so far. Oh, I, the the I state know owns everything in those type of uh, governments. Yeah, the yeah. individual is dead. But Listen, I gotta, I gotta go here in about fifteen minutes. You guys need to understand. I hope <laughs> I'm wrong. Do you understand <clears throat> that? Yeah, no, so yeah. Articles of Confederation. That's what the yeah, Congress, articles, yeah. Continental Congress created. Yeah, I'm gonna check out too here, but I want to say, <clears throat> you understand Nevin, that I hope I'm wrong. Yeah, I understand that because you're the tip man and you're, you hide behind that little comfort zone of being oh, able to say dude. things and if you're wrong. Hey, look, um, that last one, I was listening to the last segment. I think it's strange how how when you're when you you have a child or when you were a child, people tell you or you tell your children, you know, try to do the right thing, get an education or find find a uh, 
find it something that you're good at, whether it be a, you know, if you're good at painting, be a painter, be the best painter you can be. Or yep. if you're, if you're, wait, hold on. And if you're whatever, they try to tell you to be successful and you work hard. They tell you work hard. It'll pay off. Keep working, working. And you do that. You do what people tell you and you do it and you, you get an education or get a degree, you become a profession, be a doctor, be a plumber. It doesn't matter. And then when you finally do make it, age 40, age 50, you do make it. Instead of being people being proud of it, you have people like Tip Man calling you a Nazi. An evil son of a bitch. Someone's got to explain that one to me. Do you really want it explained to you or not? Yeah, why is that person now who was this young child who learned a trade or learned a profession and then became successful to the point where he is, let's say, wealthy? Why is he now a Nazi? Not because he got the money, not because he worked, but because the ideals that he holds now where he believes that if the government, if a bunch of people meet and write a piece of paper that says that something's now illegal or whatever that that's perfectly fine because it's the democratic process so what you're saying is <clears throat> if next week they say oh well you know pedophilia is okay now up there's just like they have with the vaccinations age 11 plus i didn't see his idea changed i just said he became successful Right. I'm talking I didn't about say his, his ideal ideals. changed. Nothing no, about I'm saying, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not talking about that he has money. See, you're you're conflating things. Well, then don't mention rich people being Nazis. But they are. They'll do anything. They'll kill other people to keep their assets. Sorry, I have to go. Uh, yeah, we're you shutting are, down in about fifteen minutes. You Thanks for coming, though. Hi, extremely peace. stupid now, Chinspan. Bye bye. Go fuck yourself, imbecile. See, all right, all right, I'm I tried to be off. nice to him. No, but I tried to be nice to him, and I let him have his voice on here, and I was respectful. I wanted to kick him off the entire time, and then you guys wonder why I'm an asshole because he waited till he was about to leave to open his mouth like a little coward bitch. There's no difference you, between him and you, NJ Diver. He's you just booted him. You no, just I didn't. Booted him. He left. You just <clears throat> oh, he did. Okay, never mind. My bad. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to work. NJ, glad to glad to see you're uh, you're feeling better. Uh, yeah, thank you. I've still got that thing attached, but yeah. I got you. All right. Well, you sound, you sound, uh, your spirits are up, so that's good. All right. Peace out. Take care, Tooth Man. Yeah, Everybody thanks, else. Darren. All right, Peace. buddy. No hard feelings. Just you and me, NJ, just like it used to be. No, I'm home alone, and uh, I've got one of at least three projects completed nice you mind if i ask what project you completed oh i uh i print out a uh, calendar for my wife every year so she can put it up on the uh, bulletin board there and we all know what appointments we have and where we need to go and what times and uh i'm checking right now to see if all the printing has been accomplished and it has so I'll shut off the new printer, collect and recollate the uh, items that I've made up. Now she's got a 2021 calendar. I also have uh, co-pays to database and a new calendar of my own to start marking up. Fancy. No, just basics. Rather than spend five to ten dollars on a calendar to post up on the wall, I print them out on my own. Sup, Bones? Hey, Kev. Hey, guys. I'm just uh, listening. I was articles of the Confederation. Yeah, somebody already said that. So. Yeah, I just downloaded a copy of it. <clears throat> It's interesting that uh, people argue that our Declaration of Independence is not a legal document, and yet it was the Continental Congress that actually ratified it. That's right. Yep. 
lot, so what a lot of people forgot about that, that. The Continental Congress didn't have the authority. <laughs> right. I know the British say that, but I didn't think American citizens understood exactly what that is. I think people forgot about it. It is, you know, everybody just assumes that the United States was ratified you know, first. Yeah, they, they, they don't realize the Constitution yeah, until quite a few years later. Yep, yep. Relatively speaking. What's up, Hot Rod? Hey, man, let me ask you a question, Tent. I've been sure. listening off and on. Um, what do you think someone that dies and is successful should do with their wealth? Just give it to the government? Nope. If you die in test state, you do. Okay, but what should, what should they do from your point of view? They should do whatever they want with the money. Well, some people donate to uh, nonprofits. Some people do give their property to the government, depending on uh, the circumstances. And the best thing for the, someone to do with any kind of wealth is to have a will and have it probated so that it well, does agree, get Andrew. carried out after your death. Now, see, you guys seem to think <clears throat> that I have some type of problem with people who have a business or create wealth or anything like that. No, what I have a problem with is the mentality of those people. You understand? Because the only reason that you became successful was because you were willing to do what was needed to be done. Right? Yeah, willing to I turn a blind years. eye to yeah, other I people. Spent... Like if you saw someone else's rights being violated in your workplace, you wouldn't stand up for them, right? You'd say, huh, survival yeah, of the fittest bitch. But then when it comes to someone standing up for you, you want them to put their mask on. Well, how's uh, that? I'm not, I'm, I'm not, not even going to get into the mask debate about what should. To both the company and the union, I've defended someone else. I, I don't believe you'd put your own financial well-being at risk for another. I did. I could have been fired, too. And that would have been but their right, we right? both told the truth, and the arbitrator found it. Oh, yeah, that's the truth. The arbitrator found for us, not the company. Oh, hold on, hold on. You had an arbitrator. Were you in a union, NJ? Yeah, he said, he said that. Yeah, I was oh, in two that's different, fair. Yeah, I was in two that You had unions. the protections of a union, a NJ union. Diver, on like most yeah, exactly. of us. Exactly. Oh, very convenient. You, mean I made the you right get to choice sit on your pedestal. It's very convenient. So you can just look down on the rest of us that aren't part of a union, right? Your choice, not Why mine. Why didn't we get a union? I got a job that was non traditional at the time. And well, it still is, That's except enough, that Andrew. job doesn't uh, exist. I didn't invite you up here. Don't want you up here. Go. Go somewhere where you're wanted. <laughs> right, right. I've been listening off and on to you this morning, and you know, I I agree with you a lot of times. I, get I mean, you, but let me ask the mask thing. I mean, I, I was trying to get in touch, talk, trying to talk with that guy, Navin, Navin, everybody can say his name, and he was sitting there one minute, he's saying, Oh, I want the government to give everybody a shot, and then the next minute, but right. I'm not gonna take the shot. Yep, so I, I'm I was confused on that part. But now you're you understanding why I'm so angry. Uh, I, f I understand perfectly, and I understand perfectly what you said about PDF because I've been listening off and on for the last week with you about PDF, and I, I understand you. perfectly what you say about that. Um, the, let me ask you, in your personal opinion, what do you think the government should do about it? Because, in my opinion, I think it should just be: if you want to do it, do it; if you don't, don't. What we do from here forward, I don't feel is actually relevant. How about this? What I think they should do is everybody who was involved, right from the CEOs of the airlines to public health ministers or whatever that 
did not lock the countries down when I only I only personally care about North America. Okay? Everybody right. else can go fuck themselves. All right? They're connected to the same continent as, as China. We would have been fine. You understand? So that if if they were to if if they said, okay, mandatory vaccinations for everybody, but everybody who was involved is going to be in deep shit. We're gonna try them for crimes because they did not protect us like they were supposed to. And then we put new laws into effect that when they if we have public health ministers that are not going to shut things down, right? Because all I heard, I don't know if you remember, but when this first started, I said they should be locking these people down and putting them in quarantine facilities. And the same people that are now saying masks are good, but you shouldn't be forced to wear masks. All this nonsense, this flippity floppity fucking fence sitting bullshit. Those same people said, oh, well, you can't lock them down in a quarantine facility. That would be a breach of their rights. <laughs> See, these are people that sit on their recliners all day long. People like NJ Diver, who's still sitting in the basement, and he's not coming up because I'm tired of him, right? <laughs> <laughs> that had a union job, and they had advantages, and on and on and on. They're the fucking side. They're the, they're the armchair quarterbacks, right? Yeah. Whereas they don't have to worry about having to go out to work. But I do, right? So when I go out to work, that's what I'm hearing from everybody here in this five-hour, five 12-minute five hour, panel is, <clears throat> if you don't like it, too bad. Do what the fuck you're told, bitch boy. If you want a job, the NJ Diver didn't have to wear a fucking mask while he was out pulling fucking lines through buildings and shit like that. He didn't have a public health officer with a cop with a gun standing over his shoulder, and if the mask pulled down off of his nose, he was going to get a fine, making $11 an hour, if that Minimum fucking wage, pushing carts at fucking Walmart, and then you got a $350 fine because your mask pulled down off of your nose? Are you fucking kidding me right now? And then if that's me, and I'm pushing the fucking carts, and I go, yeah, man, you're not getting my name. And they're like, uh, well, see, we're going to arrest you. And I'm like, well, are you willing to kill me? Because I'm willing to die. Right, right. So and see, you're gonna put your hands on me, try to put me in cuffs because my mask fell down off my face. Are you willing to die? And then it's a threat, right? Then I'm threatening a peace officer, and on right. and on and on, because the slave didn't do what he was told. Go ahead, hot rod. Uh, and see, and that's where I think you and I agree because you know you're using that barbecue place up there as for an example. Well, if you look, there's a um a little pub on Staten Island. The guy got arrested up there. Um, the gym back when this thing first started off, I think it was in North Carolina. You know, why are these people not considered essential? But the Goodyear dealership I'm sitting here looking at is considered essential. The um, Bilo, the Walmart, all of those are considered essential. It's very but convenient. the small mom and pops aren't. Right. So I just and his to, financial well being is something. secondary, so, right? <laughs> right, exactly. So I just wanted you to think, you know, for once you and I are agreeing on things and I, I just, I, I, it's amazing. <laughs> but so no, no, wanted... Rod, how do you not understand that I am always right? You're just misunderstanding what I'm saying. Oh, I, know. I, I know. agree with freedom. No, no, no. I'm not even saying that facetiously. I agree with freedom. You understand? I yes. would never, I would never <clears throat> tell you that you need to give somebody else what is yours. What I have a problem with is the mentality of a person like yourself sometimes. You seem to be a little better than most people, <laughs> right? <laughs> but a guy like NJ Diver that when I say, oh, so you were in a union and had an arbiter that helped you, but then a person who doesn't, that's just too bad. So, oh, brother, so long as you worked your way up to a position where you have protections, then it's perfectly fine. But the average citizen can go fuck themselves while you sit in your ivory tower. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, we don't want to, we don't even want to talk about unions personally because I hate a damn union. And no, but but you that's get another, what I'm saying. That's, that's, I understand what you're saying. That's another discussion for another day. But yeah, I get exactly what you're saying. But I mean, if you look at all of the areas, including Canada and small mom and pop places. That is the overwhelming of society. 
I mean, That's yeah, right. everyone's got Walmart and things like that. But if you break it down, I mean, those aren't the big major employers. Yes, they do employ a lot of people at one area. But look, if you leave Walmart, look at all the places surrounding it. You know, when they build a Walmart store, look at all the little shopping centers that they build around that. A hair salon, um, you know, restaurants, all kind of places around that. Those places are shut down, but the Walmart's still up and running. I mean, I just don't grasp that concept of this whole bullshit. Because just like NJ said, they are essential because they sell things people need, not what people want. So everybody can go fuck themselves. The guy with the barbecue restaurant can go fuck themselves. All the people that were lined up outside to buy the barbecue can go fuck themselves. What they can do is they can go buy some fucking craft dinner or Michelina pre-made meals at Walmart. Right. Or some of their fermented already chopped up fucking um, fruit. Right. Like you go there, you buy some fucking pineapple. It's already so gross and fermented. You can't even eat right. it. You go buy that. You're good to go because that's essential. Right. Right. But that's right. If you get so, a fucking if you get a computer repair shop, that's not essential. That's not essential because it don't matter because the government representatives they have people to come and fix their computers. They're all getting their paycheck, right? Mm. NJ Diver, he can just pay somebody that has a small business and is willing to skirt the fucking law to come and do his shit, right? He'll pay He'll pay Kevin to go and do his plumbing, right? And even if Kevin's not allowed to go do the plumbing, he don't give a fuck. He ain't going to help Kevin if he gets pulled over and thrown in jail for being out there when he's not allowed to. He ain't going to help him. He's going to say, well, that's the risk he took, even though he's coming to help me with my plumbing shit. Fuck that's him. right. That's he ain't right. going to help hey, him before, during, or after. He's going to sit there and go, I got my nut in the bank account. I'm not stupid enough to go out when I'm not allowed to. Fuck Kevin. Yeah. Well, look, I got to say this, and then I'll get off here because I know you're fixing to go anyway. But yeah, I see yeah, NJ yeah. Ivers commenting on the panel, and yeah, he's yeah. saying, union this, union that. But NJ Ivers, think about this. When is the last time you saw a union do anything to keep the plants from going to Mexico like they did in the 90s? You know, when is the last time you've seen the United Auto Workers say, OK, we're going to do something so that way we can cut the cost of cars to help the poor and needy? So, 10th man, keep up the work, man. <sighs> yeah, I'm trying. See you, brother. See you later, buddy. Closing arguments, you two. I gotta, I gotta go somewhere here in ten minutes. Well, I, in my opinion, it's just the vaccines. They're not, they're probably not gonna come to your house, but to go to the store, to go places, you're gonna have to prove that you got them. So it's gonna be like some kind of paper, please, is what I'm thinking. You know, they're gonna prove that you can, you know, like they do with kids going to school. You got to get the shot records. You're going to have to hold them. I'm going to have to show them for my job. I'm going to have to show them to go into any health facilities and do their work. I, I, that's how I see this happening. Yeah, I wish I had a stopwatch. I'm going to time how long it takes them to dump me here. If those of you who are hired at large without union protection, do you have lunch hours? Thank a union. Sometimes. Do you have breaks during the day? Sometimes. Thank a union. Do you have proper hours that limit the amount of time you are working at the job? Sometimes. Rather than sunrise to sunset? Thank a union. So thank a union for the smallest amount of protections possible because you guys fought for it, but you don't actually care about the other people. Well, how's this? Working conditions, other than those I've mentioned, have been negotiated in hundreds of thousands of union contracts every year. From yep. firefighters to police to yep. government workers to major corporations that were abusing their people and the people created the unions to protect themselves. And by the way, you're right. We've turned back to a century ago before there were unions. Right. Companies are doing it on the cheap. Companies are moving yep. 
their manufacturing facilities to where they can do it cheaper yep. and better profit for their products. Unfortunately, the products that they're sending aren't of the same quality. And one of the things I've learned in my life is that there is no profit in making a product last a lifetime. I get you, man. And listen, if you... That literally the only problem I have with you, NJ, is that you believe that in a democracy, our elected representatives get to make laws that we are not a take, democracy. Okay, that you believe that it's okay for the government to say you must wear a mask or you must get a vaccine by force. I of don't this. agree with the vaccine. I'll be damned What's if the I'll make between the, the vaccine and a mask. What's the difference? Big difference. The vaccine could do something to me, permanent damage and or death. Who said the mask, mask is isn't going to kill me? Who says? I do because it's my body. No, I'm saying who says that the vaccine is not a good thing, but the mask is the bad thing. For now, the mask does help. My state has proved it. So is New York. Or they're just more stringent with their testing now, so less non-unicorn virus deaths are being reported as. See, so are you talking about that it got less people sick or less people died? Which one? Well, until they started opening up everything, we had less people being testing positive. Okay, but we, I don't. I don't want to talk about people getting the flu. I want to talk about people dying because that's the we're not. We're not trying to prevent people well, from getting the flu, are we? Are we try, we're trying to pe prevent people from dying or getting the flu. Which one? I haven't had a flu vaccination since 1977. Yeah. And that one, that one, I had no choice. I was in the military. We were used as guinea pigs. And yeah, I got the flu about two weeks after they gave me the vaccination. Right. But what I'm asking is, are you talking about the, your, your state is a good example because of the amount of deaths or the amount of people who got the virus? Well, up until this resurgent, because they opened everything back up again, and those people that chose to violate the lockdown uh, executive orders did have super spreading events. Gee, I wonder how it is that all these people who probably tested positive beforehand went to an event in violation of the governor's orders and all of a sudden they're infected. Gee, I wonder how they got that. Because everybody's going to get sick, but see, you're you're just you're you're jumping around. I want to know just as much as you do. Are the masks trying to stop people from getting sick or from dying? Which one? Pretty much both. Okay, but because if so, you don't get sick, you have a better chance of living. Are more people dying from this flu? than have died in previous years from any other flu. 351,000 so far, I believe, was last night's figure in this country. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think not. That's 0.0006%. Yeah, but that's not your question. No, it is. Your question, your because question was, was have more people died of COVID than the flu this year. No, no, no. I said than in any any other. Oh, okay, now year. let's let's move the goalpost. Okay. In any other previous year, I said NJ. I don't know the statistics. I just know what I they're uh, giving out now. I do. That's the problem. I can't have a conversation with you when you don't know where you've been. Oh, I've been busy. I've been in the hospital for fifteen you, fucking man. days. I'm just saying is yeah, I know. and I don't usually use the expression with the uh, f word, but. That was 15 days in the house of pain for me. I get you. But no more people are dying from 
the unicorn virus than have died from any other previous rhinoviruses in the past. No, but that's 351,000 people that are dead because we weren't prepared and we didn't There's follow. No You're trying to prepare people who were going to die anyway from getting sick and dying. <laughs> yeah, but what's interesting is most of the people that died of because they had pre-existing conditions were not at death's door. Not relevant. Oh, okay. So a semi-healthy person who gets, oh, let's, let's put it to the extreme like you always do. A healthy, 100% healthy person catches the coronavirus and dies. Which is rare. Oh, yeah. Very Mainly rare. Because the people with pre-existing conditions, like myself, yep. have no real resistance to the virus. Once and, again, the oh, same God. thing would be with the flu. Not my problem. The majority of people who are dying from this, just like any other flu, are people who are already sick. Most of the people who are dying from this are over the 60 over over the age of 60. I'm sorry that everybody thinks that they're going to live to be 100 years old where 100 years ago it was very rare for you to live above 50. Are, are I'm we getting, sorry that you're going to die cuz you're old but that's not the rest of the are world. Are we problem. getting into Logan's run here? No, we're getting into nature. Yeah, and the uh Let's see. A hundred years ago, what was the uh, ex life expectancy? Be very rare. A hundred years ago, for you to live above fifty. Yeah, and now we have people that are uh, living into their triple digits. Yep. Gee, I wonder where that came from. From us having a very, very good period of time with science and medicine and stuff like that. Modern medicine, modern science. Right. Better living through chemistry. And the ability to wash your hands. Yep. So washing your hands is the uh, cure for the pandemic. Is that what you're saying? Pretty much, yeah. That's funny because uh, there are people out there that have followed all the uh, instructions okay. and I, I got everything go. properly, but I've still caught it. Yeah, I, I got to go. Husband's telling me I got to go. So I uh, may be back this afternoon. Uh, NJ Diver, no hard feelings, even though I still have some serious problems with the way that you think. Uh, everybody, yeah, peace well, up. that's never going to go. change. So it will when something bad enough happens in your life that you start. Well, how's this? Is way. pancreatitis and gallstones bad enough? Nope. No, oh, okay. Near death experience bad enough. Nope. No, nah, yeah. Well, I don't know what you're talking about then. Talking about when your rights are taken away and things like that, then you'll understand. But anyway, everybody, peace out uh, and go fuck yourselves, you fucking idiots.